We haven't seen Michael Thomas since these teams played in week one, and now I'm hearing about Drew Brees not practicing. What is the latest on those two? Yeah, let's start with Michael Thomas. We know he hasn't been out on the field since week one, which is insane to think about. We know he's been dealing with an ankle injury. He's been dealing with a hamstring, some discipline. But uh, I was told that things are progressing very well there, that the Saints are expecting to have him back for that Sunday night game, which obviously opens up this entire offense. But at the quarterback spot, Drew Brees, We've seen him take Wednesdays off in the past, or at least at a limited role. So that's pretty normal. Having him not practice yesterday certainly put up some flags. But from what I can understand, the plan is for Drew Brees to play on Sunday. Obviously, things could change today, Friday at practice. They want to see how he feels. But the feeling there is that he should be good to go on Sunday, Greeny. All right, that's obviously critical because that's the matchup that we're all looking forward to seeing. So we saw these teams week one. That feels like about 20 years ago at this point. And the Buccaneers have looked so much better since then. RC, what is the one thing in your mind that decides this game? Championship defense. Coming into this year, the reason people thought the Saints would win wasn't because of Drew Brees. They thought this defense would be phenomenal, and it just hasn't. It hasn't been that way. It hasn't been great. It hasn't been dominant, as we saw them be sometimes last year. But we've seen the Tampa Bay Buccaneers be absolutely dominant. We've seen the Tampa Bay Buccaneers totally destroy the Packers. We watched them go sideline to sideline against the Las Vegas Raiders. And we talk about these two linebackers as being the best duo in the NFC in Devin White and Levante David. Well, this week on the other side, they have Alvin Kamara. This week on the other side, the Saints have Tom Brady. Whatever defense decides to step up and play championship-level football, that's who wins this game. It's not about the 84 years playing quarterback. It's about the young gunners and the hunters playing defense for these teams. And if they get after these offenses, that's the team that comes up victorious. Well, we've talked a lot about the Tampa defense, it feels like. Rob Ninkovich, how about the Saints defense? What do they need to do to get this one Sunday? Look, they got to get after Tom Brady. And, and if you look at Tom's wins this season, he's been pressured half the time. The two losses that they have, he's been pr pressured basically double the amount. The first game against the Saints, they got to him 10 times. So if you can get pressure on Tom Brady, that's going to affect him the most. We saw that with the Chicago game where he's rolling his eyes at Khalil Mack when he's on the ground. You can't expect Tom to be as confident and throw down the field like he has if he has all day. So the Saints, it's vital for them to get after Tom, to make him uncomfortable, get him off the spot early in the game, too. It's got to be within the first series. Make sure that he realizes it's going to be a long one, because if you can do that, then he's going to start to think, all right, man, I don't have the time here. I can't sit in here all day. So it's going to be vital for the Saints to get after Tom early in this game. Another huge storyline, obviously, is the Buccaneers for the first time will have Antonio Brown. Diana, what are you hearing out of Tampa about how he looks as he's working with them this week for the first time? Okay, I went straight to the spectacular Bucks defense to ask them, what are they seeing from Antonio Brown? Because you know the offense is going to say he's great. And the way it was described to me is that Antonio Brown looks spectacular. Uh, one player is saying, you know, this is a guy who's got fresh legs. There's a significant difference just from, just from a health standpoint between Antonio Brown and the rest of the receivers. And we've all followed Antonio Brown on social media in the past, and we know how hard he works. So in terms of his fitness, he is right there. So he's definitely going to be used as a big weapon on Sunday night. All right, so let's, let's see just how big we think it's going to be. RC, I'm going to give you some numbers. More or less, four and a half catches, 78 and a half yards, 0.5, half a touchdown, more or less for Antonio Brown Sunday night RC. Greeny, absolutely more. Listen, Antonio Brown, you just heard Diana say it. Antonio Brown's fresher than a peppermint right now. And he's going to come out ready, ready to prove things. And we know that when Tom Brady has a guy, he understands how to target him and get him his catches. Antonio Brown will be big in this win for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this week. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.